My name is Heidi. Um, it's kind of play on my YouTube name is H-E-I-D-I. That's actually me, Heidi. Um, I chose the name to kind of differentiate it from my own personal YouTube use because this is just going to be strictly for wig reviews. Um, sorry, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. So I'm trying to figure out how to look in the camera and not look at myself down here. Um, just as an FYI, the wig that I am wearing today is from Lou's Wigs, which are made by um, a girl named Lynn Marsh. She does a fabulous job. This is a human hair wig with a lace top and a lace front. Um, but I'm not really here to review the wig. I just kind of wanted to do a test run of how to use YouTube because I have no clue. You can probably tell because my lighting is horrible. Everything looks red. I don't know why this wig is not red at all. It's a very pretty brunette with caramel highlights. Um, very close to what my natural hair color used to be. Um, also my horrible background back here. This work is great for my Zoom conferences for work because I put this up and then I can use a virtual background, which is cool because I can be at the beach or in the library. But it doesn't really translate well for YouTube because it ends up looking like what it is, which is a sheet. So, yeah, going to have to work on that, figure out where I want to actually film these because I don't think I want to film these from my office chair. I think I want to be standing so that I can show like the 360 of the wig. Um, but anyway, the reason that I am starting a YouTube channel is because I have recently uh, began wearing wigs on a more full-time basis. I'm a former hairdresser. I was a uh, practicing hairdresser for 15 years. I am still a licensed cosmetologist in the state of Michigan, but I haven't practiced in probably 10 years. So that kind of gives you an idea that I'm a little older, but that's okay. Um, because, because I don't have a script in front of me, I lose track of what I'm about to say. So that's another point that I'm going to have to kind of maybe make some note cards when I'm doing this for real. But for now, I'm just going to keep going on the fly. But anyway, I'm a practicing um, paralegal right now. And so completely different profession. But as a hairdresser, one of the things that I always enjoyed was doing different things with my hair. Uh, color, styles, haircuts, you name it. I love to experiment. Well, getting older and having some hormonal issues, I started losing my hair, um, a condition that was really exacerbated when I was on a restrictive diet a few years ago and lost a lot of weight, which I've gained most of it back, but that's a whole different story. Um, because of my hair loss, I started getting really self-conscious. I was coloring my hair pretty dark because I was trying to keep it kind of the natural hair color. So I would have these big bald patches, especially right here in the front and on the sides. Um, it was really hard as a hairdresser to lose my hair and not be able to fix it or make it look good. Because, I mean, as women, we all have our issues. Well, as people, <laughs> we all have our issues. But I think women, our hair is a sense of um, pride for us sometimes. Not always. I'm, I'm trying not to generalize because everybody is so unique and different. But for me, I know that I had a lot of things I was self-conscious about and I was always happy that my hair would look pretty because it didn't matter how much weight I had or what my skin looked like or my teeth or my clothes. If my hair looked good, then I felt good. And so when I started losing it, 
and it started thinning out really bad, it was tough. And I was using, you name it. I used the powders and I used like the topic fibers and I would style my hair in different ways. I would get extensions or I would um, do all kinds of things to try to make my hair look nice and to take away the attention from the top. Um, I started wearing hats. Uh, sorry, my thing is not tucked in. I mean, I have not really prepared myself for a real video. I don't, um, anyway, so I keep getting distracted and I apologize if anybody is watching this. I don't think anyone is because it's just kind of my test run and I haven't advertised. So I'm just kind of hoping that nobody's really paying attention to this, but because of the self-esteem issues with my hair loss, I started looking into other options. Um, and like I said, I explored extensions and then I found toppers, which are just kind of like wiglets that you just put on the top of your head, which was pretty cool, but I could never really make them work well for me. Um, I had issues with, uh, they would stick, they would just stick up weird. I don't know if I was just doing it wrong. I would watch the videos and I would try to replicate what I saw of people wearing toppers. I just couldn't get it. Um, I bought a wig at a local wig shop here in Michigan and it's called Haru Wigs in Ypsilanti. The owner, super nice lady. She was so nice to me and helped me try on a couple of wigs. I had a friend with me and it was fun. We had a good time and I ended up walking out of the store with a blonde curly wig with some dark rooting. Very cute. Um, it was a Beshi. I still have it even though I don't really wear it anymore because it's kind of a sentimental thing now. It was my first real wig. So um, unfortunately, that particular wig shop caters more to um, black people, African American, um, and the lace is dark against my skin, um, and the styles are just a little different than what I'm used to. So even though I've been back to that shop a couple of times, and I've bought maybe like one or two more pieces, I don't really find that what I'm looking for is at that shop. Mostly what I do is find reputable online wig dealers uh, through Facebook and the various Facebook groups that I belong to. Um, there are a few that I buy from right now. This one is a lose wig and it's L-U apostrophe S wig. And I'll post everything below of um, if I leave this video up. Like I said, it's a test run. But I'll post below um, kind of some links. So this is a lose wig. I also really like the Beauty Nook which is a brick and mortar store located in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, but they also have live sales every week and you're able to purchase through their ordering system um, through Facebook. So the customer service with Beauty Nook is amazing. I love them. Um, I've also purchased from Wig Studio One and from Sister Wigs and of course from Amazon. Um, a lot of people have success with Amazon wigs. I haven't. I mean, kudos to the people who use Amazon and are able to find amazing things. I just have not been able to find amazing things. So it's kind of like people who can go to thrift stores and come out with amazing finds. And I go to the thrift store and I come out with thrift store looking clothing. I mean, I don't know. It is what you make of it. So I'm not slamming Amazon wigs at all. Um, it's just not really my preferred way to purchase. So I found these Facebook groups just by kind of searching Facebook for wigs. And I stumbled into these groups and these, um, this amazing community of supportive women who really, um, have a lot of advice to give and a lot of suggestions. And many of them are also wig to, um, YouTube wig reviewers. Um, 
And I've watched their videos over and over and over. And I started posting and getting feedback and giving my feedback and buying wigs. And I went a little crazy and bought a lot of wigs. And I, um, through my purchasing, I've been able to kind of figure out what I like and what I don't like. And that's why I wanted to do a YouTube channel to get those thoughts out there in case anybody is questioning what a certain wig looks like or what my experience is. Um, I'll put my wig uh, information on my videos and I'll have my head measurements. Um, you know, just basically things that I've always appreciated as a consumer. I want to put out there too. Uh, this is a lot for just a test run. But I wanted to get a lot of this information down and then edit this video and see how it turned out and what I can do to improve it. Um, I already know the lighting's an issue. I already know the sheet's an issue. Um, I am going to have to wear more makeup because I actually have makeup on and you can't even tell. I just look pale. Um... And like I said, this lighting is really bad. It's making everything look red. Uh, and it's not showing off how beautiful this wig is. Um, anyway, so that's my test run. And if you happen to catch this before I take it down and want to leave a comment, please do. Um, thank you.